Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Luke W coming back at you guys again today with another video. How many of you guys want to make 2019 the biggest year financially for you guys in your entire lives? All right, how many of you guys want to do that? And how many of you guys want to start finding profitable products on Amazon with a lot less time being wasted looking through and sifting through all of Amazon's products? I can guess that's going to be just about everyone. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can find super profitable products on Amazon without spending hours and hours of research. First off, I just wanna say thanks to everyone tuning into this video today, taking time out of your busy schedules. I may be interrupting dinner. I can smell dinner cooking in the kitchen right now for me, but I wanna let you guys know I'm gonna make your time watching this video super worthwhile. And what makes this different is actually the fact that this is a brand new tool I'm gonna to be showing you guys about that just came out literally in November, so pretty much last month. And it's really cool because it actually, with one search, you're able to find a ton of different product markets that's gonna show you right away how profitable these markets are. And it's got a lot in this algorithm and the software that you guys are gonna be really blown away about. So it's really different, it's really cutting edge, it's really new and me being a practitioner of studying a lot about Amazon and product research and the software developers themselves being huge Amazon sellers, KT9 and the gang over there, they have their own YouTube channel and everything. They are serious practitioners and we're actually using these tools to find us real profitable products. So what's in it for you guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna discover products super fast that are also super profitable. I'm also gonna show you how to find multiple product markets with just one search. And not only that, I'm gonna show you exactly how this tool is gonna to show you exactly what price you need to ask your suppliers per each unit if you wanna make the profit margins that you want. And this also factors in Amazon FBA fees and everything else. So by the end of this video, I just wanna teach you guys how to find products really fast and all you have to do is understand how to use this tool. This is gonna work for anyone who doesn't even have a business selling on Amazon. This can be a huge tool that you can use to start kicking off your Amazon business right on the right foot, right out the gate, finding great products. This is also gonna work for the seasoned Amazon seller who just wants to hone in their product research and help them find products way more fast. And I can tell you from all my experience and struggles, guys, this tool really did help me find products fast. I'm gonna show you examples about that. And with all the different Chrome extensions out on the market, you know, I've always loved Jungle Scout, but using the Boost 9 tool that I'm gonna show you in conjunction with the Jungle Scout Chrome extension is just gonna make your experience so much better on Amazon. So without further ado, let's hop in the video. I'm gonna show you exactly how we can find some awesome products. All right, guys, so we're at the Boost 9 homepage. This is where you can download the software. But to show you how it works, I'm gonna go right to the Amazon homepage. And basically it's super, super easy. It takes a lot of the guessing work out of this game and really it will find you awesome product markets with just a simple search. So I can show you guys, I'm actually in the beauty market right now. And all I need to do is type in beauty and you can see Amazon's gonna show me a bunch of crazy random products that are patented. I wouldn't wanna sell anything probably on this first page. Everything's got near 9,000 reviews it looks like. But if I press the Boost 9 Chrome extension up here, this is where some of the cool magic will happen. So you can see the main keyword I just typed in shows up right here. And what KT9 and the guys do over at their YouTube channel, they, it looks like they've trademarked their uh, seven out of seven score terminology here because what they do to rate if a product is in a good market is they say if there's at least seven out of the top 10 people having over $5,000 in revenue, that's a great indicator that the product is going to be good. But you also have to look at the reviews and see that if seven out of 10 people have under 75 reviews, then it's going to be good. So beauty, of course, is going to have a lot of people having over 75 reviews. That's why it gave us a really low score here. But the coolest part about this tool, guys, is when you come over here and press view related markets. And it's pretty much doing a search of all the suggested keywords that Amazon would put in after the term beauty. And it's going to give us all these markets that are related to beauty and it's going to show us which ones are going to be good without us having to individually search the numbers for each of these markets. So as you can see here there's a two star next to Beauty and the Beast Rose so I can go ahead and click on that right now and it's kind of cool that Boost 9 shows up here at the bottom of the page so you can actually scroll through and see the products unlike when it pops up here with the other Chrome extensions. And just for an example, I can show you guys right here what Jungle Scout's gonna show on these numbers. 
and really you see the monthly sales are pretty high everyone is making a lot of money especially here in the top 10 everyone is just killing it you know 15,000 in the hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales per month here for a number of people up at the top but the best part about it is you can see people on the first page have as little as three reviews and they're making 360 sales a month with just this little Beauty and the Beast rose. Oh my gosh, and it literally has one star on it. So you could come in here and just beat out a lot of these competitors with you know 3.5 stars, read their negative customer reviews, and see what you can do to improve on that product. But this gave me an awesome idea of a product right out the gate. Beauty and the Beast Rose. I never would have thought of typing this in, but just by typing in the word beauty, I'm able to find all these other product markets. And it's even going to show me under Explore Products, just a bunch of what I can see already on the actual page above. And the cool thing about it is I can click on a product here, and it will actually show me what target ROI I want. So a 200% return on investment, that would mean for every $1 I spend, I get $3 back. So I would basically have to find this product for $6.34 on Alibaba to get that 200% ROI if I'm selling it at $27. And you can think about if you even are looking to bundle and make this product better than what it is here, you can charge a higher price than even $27. They even have a little calculator for your budget that you're willing to spend on your first product that will show you how many units you can get at this price. But what you can do here to actually see what they're going for is click on the view on Alibaba button. And then you're able to go start contacting suppliers right away. You can see here this rose is going from five to $10. And when they're just having a tiny minimum order quantity of one piece, you know, some suppliers won't let you buy from them unless you at least buy 100 units or even 1,000 units sometime. So if you're buying one unit from them, they're going to charge you this higher $10 price per unit. But if you buy 50 or 100 of these, they're going to be able to negotiate down and you can get that $5 price really easily, maybe even lower than that. And then you just got to factor in your shipping costs, which might be $1 to $2 per unit. But then that comes down to saying, hey, look, if I'm still paying $7 per unit, my ROI is just going to get down to 172%. My profit per unit, if I'm selling at $27, is still going to be $12.02. So that just shows you right away that you can click right into Alibaba. You're able to find different suppliers for these products. But we see on Amazon itself that all the basic products here are pretty much just these red roses and it's funny, this one only has one star. But look at this, $60 for this one with three reviews. And they're probably making a ton of sales on here on the first page. This guy doesn't even have reviews. So this could be a seasonal item. So I want to find another example for you guys in just a moment. But actually, look at this guy, $67 for this blue rose. And actually, what's funny enough is right here, the same blue rose is going for $16. So I can click into this blue rose and I want to just see exactly the sales per month that this guy is making. And you know, I like to use Jungle Scout in conjunction with this, you know, just to have an extra layer of certainty going into this product market. And you can see guys with 26 reviews, he's making 153 monthly sales, $10,000 in revenue per month. And I mean, this thing is what, $16 on Alibaba and it's selling for about $70 right here. This is the benefit of Amazon FBA, guys. You order these in bulk, ship them into the Amazon warehouse where Amazon's going to pick, pack, and ship it out to your customers whenever you want. And you're basically just sitting down and waiting to reorder after you rank your product up and do all that. You know the old saying where they say 20% of the work you put in is going to result in 80% of your results and income. And this is an exact explanation of how that works. So since Boost9 really runs on suggested keywords, I'm going to type in the word chair C and you can see all the suggested keywords that pop up. But Boost9 is pretty much going to show me all those and more. And it's going to show me exactly which market is good without me having to click into each one of those. So we're going to say view related markets once again. And it's going to show us right over here when it searches up exactly what the market is before we have to click into anything. And that is just the coolest fastest way to start finding products and right here i can see chair covers for wedding is a great market 
Chair covers for party is an amazing market. So let's click on chair covers for party and just get a feel for what these products even look like. So, I mean, right out the gate, $109 for this little chair cover. It's probably, okay, a pack of 100, but I know we can get these on Alibaba for super cheap. Let's go and press explore products and click on one that we might want to be selling. So here's a 10 piece that goes for $26, a 50 piece for 119. And you guys know the more you charge for your product, the bigger profit margin you're gonna make. So if you have to spend $28 for 50 of these on Alibaba and sell it at 120, you're left with $56 in profit. So that's gonna be great. Let's go right over to Alibaba right now and see if we can find this exact product and I can already see an uh, even fancier one that comes with the bow as compared to this one right here. So we can see the product is going for as little as almost 60 cents. So meeting this price in the middle, you can say it's about 50 cents per unit. So 50 cents times we want 50 units in the pack. That's $25. And right here it says if your cost per unit is $28, you're getting 200% back on your investment. So that's funny because it's probably going to cost, you know, two or three dollars exactly to get it shipped on top of your twenty five dollars that you're paying for your product cost. So that twenty eight dollars is going to be super accurate and it leaves us exactly with the ROI that we want and fifty six dollars profit per unit. That's the exact margin I'm shooting at right now, guys. This is funny because my product is making me fifty to fifty five dollars in profit every time I'm making a sale on Amazon. So this is another cool market and I mean I just did two examples with super broad keywords. I literally typed in chair C and found this. I can go back and type in chair P and let's see what the market comes up for this. So you don't have to worry about the 7 out of 7 score right when you type in this initial thing because we're not even looking at the same type of product at all here. What we want to always do is go view related markets and we can see here too much competition. There's no good market for this after checking out all the suggested keywords. So I did just find the desk calendar for 2019, but this is a really specific type product that is just gonna be something that, you know, if you're not already in this market, it's probably not gonna be a winner for you, but we can just run the sales in Jungle Scout just to look at what they're doing. And Amazon's not even releasing a lot of the sales data for this product but this is just absolutely absurd. And this actually makes me wanna go into one of these products maybe and think about doing something of this earlier and planning for something seasonal. Because I mean, when you look at this, I mean, six reviews, 17 reviews, 4,000 sales a month, you could easily rank yourself up here on the first page for this type of a product, especially if you're offering something, maybe like some colorful pens or something, and no one else seems to be doing that in all of these listings. I mean, the reviews are so low, but the sales are so high that if you plan the timing right, you could just destroy this market. But with the Boost 9 program, it really just makes product research so much more fast and easy. Like I can sit here and do this all day without straining my eyes, like searching up and down through pages, running Jungle Scout, and then copying another main keyword and plugging it up here and then running it and then searching it again on Jungle Scout. This just makes it so much easier. And the seven out of seven score is actually a pretty good way about thinking about your product research. If seven out of the top 10 products have under 75 reviews, you know you're in a good market, not too competitive. And if the seven out of 10 in the top 10 have over 5,000 in revenue, then you also know you're doing well. But I'm actually surprised that we did have a chance to find these chair covers because what they're selling for is very expensive. I mean, on Amazon, like $120 for 50 of these things. And it's just so much cheaper when you're looking at what you can buy it for right here on Alibaba. Some of these are more expensive, but there's probably a lot of wiggle room that you can make with these guys and a lot of different negotiation tactics. I talk about a lot of that on my channel in and of itself, but that's pretty much one of the coolest products that I think that we found here today. And you can just type in chair covers and press space again, and you're seeing chair covers for all kinds of different occasions, chair covers for dogs or anything else. So I just found that market pretty much just from using the Boost 9 software. It helps you find products so fast, and all these new markets are just so many more opportunities knocking at the door. I'm gonna keep using this, and 
that's pretty much all I have to say. You're not going to find, you know, great markets just right out the gate every single time. There will be quite a few times when you're not going to see any stars here and not great markets. But it looks like chair covers are just doing well. I mean, this is seasonal chair covers for Christmas. The wedding and for party, these type of chair covers are all year round type of thing. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you about the Boost 9 software. And I hope you liked it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and benefited a lot from the information I shared. If you want to please drop a thumbs up, it really means a lot to me. I love when you guys do that. And drop down in the questions what's been holding you back from selling on Amazon if you haven't started already. Has the product research been really hard for you guys or what is it about product research that is so difficult? Just finding a good profitable product? There's a lot of methods out there but using the Boost 9 software like I depicted in this video is just going to make it leagues and leagues easier for you to start finding products with just one search. I mean you can jump in multiple product markets and it's just going to work out for you guys. So. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions, I have links below to my Facebook page. The Boost 9 Chrome extension, like I said, is going to be linked down below in the description. And you guys can reach out to me. I'll be there for you guys at any hour of the day and some hours in the night. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.